Baltimore is the birthplace of American public transit. And with that history, also came decades of failed policies that divided our community for years. We wonder why we have generational poverty in the city. We have generational poverty because we have a transportation issue. There are enough jobs throughout the state of Maryland, for the most part, for everybody in the region to have a job, but we have to be able to get them there. For those who are building wealth, who are on an income trajectory, they shouldn't be cut out or cut off from care, employment, or any of the other amenities of our community because they can't get there. People that are transit dependent really need reliable transportation to get to the best jobs that meet their skills and needs and the ability to earn a greater living to support themselves and their families. Baltimore has a situation where we have a population based on a Brookings Institute study of about 60,000 low-income households that don't have a car and don't have access to public transportation to get to an entry level or a mid-level job in less than a 90 minute commute. I believe transportation moving forward is gonna be very critically important as we grow the hospitality footprint. If we make it easier for talent to come to our industry to work, it helps all of us. So I believe moving forward, we need to look at transportation both for your local resident as well as for your convention industry. We thought it was incumbent upon us to put our um, muscle and are pushed behind such a dynamic campaign that is about equity and about ensuring that all of us are able to get to great opportunities through mass transit. We need to align behind a few key initiatives so that together we can make substantial progress. I'm excited to join our partners in the business community to say that now is the time for better transit in the greater Baltimore area. The opportunities for our city are endless and our business community is a catalyst for this future. I want to thank organizations and leaders from the Greater Baltimore Community and Greater Washington Partnership for partnering with us on this work and I encourage others from around the city and the region to help us deliver on this promise.